this is another problem on the analysis of a frame or a truss. In the previous video, we discussed the analysis of a perfect frame using method of joints. And at that point, I mentioned there is another method uh, also used for the analysis of a frame called method of sections. So in this video, we are going to uh, see how a truss has been analyzed using method of sections. Again, the fundamentals are the same um, that you apply the equilibrium conditions to a truss and uh, find the force in the members. First you find the support reactions and then you find the forces in members. But the difference in method of sections is you are not analyzing the entire truss. You are only analyzing a particular number of members. So. As shown in the figure, we are interested in finding the forces on member 1, 2 and 3. You have got 3 forces acting on the truss and 2 reactions here. So again, you need to find the support reactions first. And the forces on members. That is a procedure here as well. So, taking into account of these three forces and the distances will be provided, you first find RA and RB. And then what you do is you draw a line through the members in which you need to find the forces. Listen carefully. You draw a line through the forces, through the members in which you need to find the forces. It is to be noted here that you can only draw a line through a maximum of three members with unknown forces. You cannot draw line through four members with unknown. You can, you can draw line through four members, but the number of unknown forces should be a maximum of three. So here you have three unknown forces and we are interested in finding the members, the forces on these members. So draw a line through the three members and then there are two parts, the left side of the line and the right side of the line. So we can then consider the left side as a, as a body in equilibrium. And also you can consider the right side as a body in equilibrium. And then you will need to assume a direction for the forces in these three members because at the moment you don't know the direction of the forces. So you will need to assume a direction and after analysis, if you are getting a positive force in that member, then your assumption is right. And if you are getting a negative force after analysis for that member, then the assumed direction is wrong. So you will need to reverse the direction. That's all. Again, the conditions are same. You are applying the equilibrium equations. That is summation of forces in x direction is zero, summation of forces in y direction is zero, and summation of moments is zero. I know this may be a, a bit confusing, but once we do a problem, you will understand it completely. So let's see how it works. What I have done here is, I separated the body into two parts. This is separated by this line here. So you have got a, a left hand side and a right hand side. And these are your summation equations or sorry, equilibrium conditions. Again, I assumed a direction for these three forces. This is just an assumption. You can assume any direction. And then you analyze this part of the body. And also, if you want to analyze this part, you can do that as well. So 
Now you have got a known force here and a reaction at A and three unknown forces. So by taking moment about any point, you can find three equations or number of equations and then solve the equation simultaneously, you can find the forces. So if you take moment about this point, the moment of this force will be zero, 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 because all these are passing through this point. The only moments will be for the force F1, reaction of at A and the force F, uh, the, the force on the member one here. You can also take moment about this point again, then this will be zero, this will be zero. You will only have moments for this force and the force through the member two. But this is an easy method if you are only interested in a particular members. So once again, I recommend you to go through the videos of support reaction and forces and moments because that's a crucial part of analysis of trust. You will need to understand these videos completely and thoroughly in order to proceed the, with the analysis of perfect frames. So go through these videos and also see the method of joins here. So there are two methods for analysis of trust, method of joins here and method of sections we discussed in this video. We will do a couple of examples from the next video onwards.